bit about this race and what happened? I, I mean, did you ever envision this happening? Um, going into it, I knew I definitely had a shot to win. I was seated pretty well. Um, but, like, I knew it was going to be really hard, uh, and it wasn't going to be like I was going to win it just right out of the bat. Um, during the race, like, my plan was just to stay, like, back in the pack in the first mile and then try and work my way up and see what I could do, like, in the last 400. What, uh, I mean, it was a, a good spirited battle up there. I mean, did you, I mean, did you think that you had the edge on, I don't know who it was next to you, but, uh, had, had you raced her before? I mean, did you have any sense as to how that was going to go? I had no idea. It was, um, at the finish line, I finished with Elizabeth Flatley, and I had raced her the day before in the 1600, and so I knew she's like, a really strong competitor. Um, I, like, hadn't raced with her throughout the season, so I didn't know how her kick was going to be. Um, but she like definitely pushed me. She was right. I could hear her breathing right down my back, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Oh man, like she's right there. I gotta go." And a number of people said they've looked at the board and you know to see you know position on the race and stuff. Did you get caught up in that? Anything else about running in this environment that helped or hindered or you know made it a, a different event? Um, well, just at the start, you know, it was raining a couple hours before, so the track was a little bit slippery and wet. I was really nervous. Um, just like being in a mass start like that with 24 people, I was worried someone was going to fall, you know, and I just didn't want to go down. Yeah. A little comfort zone with Katie there, too. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I've been racing with Katie all season, and like, she's just been pushing me, I've been pushing her the whole way, and I couldn't like ask for a better competitor to race with. She's going to miss her next year. Yeah. But I know she's going to be awesome next year without me.